In this tutorial video, we are going to cover how to create a subcircuit. To start with, I just have this boost PFC circuit, and I'm going to push this control circuit down into a subcircuit. So to do that, I'm going to draw a rectangle around the circuits and components that I want to go down into the subcircuit. And then I'm going to right click on the box and hit create subcircuit. This will prompt me with the option to name this file. I'll call it control sub. And we see that everything has now been pushed down that I had selected. I'm just going to tidy up the traces over here by drawing a box around them and deleting. And we'll go into the sub now by double clicking. <clears throat> I'm going to rename these ports now so that they mean something on that top level. So to do that, I'll double click. And I'll change what it says from T4 to, in this case, VO for the output voltage. I'll double click on this one and change this one to IL for that inductor current. I'll change this to um, gate for the gating signal. Actually, I'm also going to move it higher up so it's not quite so crowded. So I'll change that to gate up there, gate. And then I'll change this one over here, and I'll put it over onto the side there. We'll see that I actually have to delete the name of the port there and then move it over. So I'll need to change this to VIN. So I'll put that there. And we also see briefly here that there's it's been pre-created with four available ports on the output and six on the right-hand side. To change that size, we can go back up into subcircuit and set size. So we can change the size here. So if we needed additional ports, we would just change, change that here. But we don't need any additional dimensions at this point. Okay, so uh, that's been set up. So we exit out of this. It'll ask us to change, save the changes. We'll do that. And we can see now that I've got some new names. And because I moved those signals, we need to uh, move these up here. And I need to move this over here. So those are now set up now. And you can see actually that some of these have been set up with, as, with little arrows to designate that they are uh, inputs to the circuit. I'll just zoom back out. So um, so there's that sub. So we could run this now and we could change these things, but I'd also like to now change the image. So to do that, we'll go back down into the circuit. Uh, we'll go into the sub circuit here and we'll go um, edit image. We'll zoom into it. And now I have the option of selecting these, um, the box. I'll delete that. I can uh, now I can add uh, a text to this if I want to. So I've already got control sub available. I can uh, edit the size. Let's maybe make it eight. Uh, I'll put that in there. I can also draw on the uh, draw an image here if I want to. The key thing to point out here is if you draw a line off of the um, off of the ports, if you connect it up, it it it'll it'll turn green. So to show that it's been connected to something. So I'll just draw these out here. And you can see that I didn't connect that one up. So we'll just draw that in. And uh, I'll draw this one down as well. Um, so if we wanted to, these would all sort of end up going to some sort of box down here. Let's draw a box. And then this one would go and, um, and, uh, and come down and out of there. So. We could have some sort of image like that if we were interested in that. Um, so we see that now all these uh, ports have been connected up, and so that when we save this image and look at it from the top end, we'll have um, we'll see we'll see that those are, are actually connected to something. Okay, so I'll just update that schematic. I'll close. I'll exit out of this, save, and we'll see now that that's uh, my little picture here um, is 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 now been updated as that image there. So um, the next thing really to point out is when we run the simulation, the variables, so those voltage probes that were a level down, are now saved as S1.iref. So the uh, reference current now it has that S1.iref. And so that's the, uh, that's the current probe from that lower level. So, so, we're, so this is iref here. So this is the iref coming in from the control loop. So that's how that works. Uh, the next uh, video I'll do will cover how to set up attributes here so you can push uh, and edit variables without having to go down into the subcircuit level.
Thank you so much for watching and uh, check for that attributes video if you're interested in doing that. Thank you. Bye.